Hi guys, welcome to the fourth video of the topic or the series basic things you need to know about oral health. I've done three videos already talking about dental flossing, brushing your teeth, and busting dental meat. On this one, I am talking about the side effects of not taking care of your teeth. If this is your first time viewing, please go check the other ones out. If you've been consistently checking out my videos, thank you so much. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Well, we all know that if you don't take care of your teeth, you might end up losing them, right? But have you ever thought of having a stroke or a brain damage from that? No? This is Dr. Tembe Yopuleni. I'm a family and a cosmetic dentist. Well, we all know that if you don't take care of your teeth, you might end up losing them, right? But have you ever thought of having a stroke or a brain damage from that? No? Well, this is how it happens. First, if you don't take care of your teeth, then your teeth what, they become rotten. We all know that. That biophilim I was talking about that we have, which is also called a normal flora, the, mono, the normal bacteria that we have in our mouth, if they're not brushed, if you don't brush your teeth, then they stuck to the teeth, becomes black. If it's not brushed, it becomes calculus, which is the hard part. If it's not brushed, then you have your gums being sodden, which we call gingivitis. If that one is not treated, or you're still not brushing your teeth properly, or you're not brushing it at all, then it progressed to be, to be periodontitis, whereby the bone and the gum is affected even, in, even further. And then you have your bleeding gums, um, some they become gray, your gums become gray or greenish, or even red, too red. They are so red, they're just sensitive. Um, you can't even eat, can't even chew, can't even eat anything hot or cold. Um, can even open your mouth, when you open your mouth, you feel like there's a hole in your teeth and it's sensitive, then there is periodontitis affect and the teeth are affected in that way. So it starts by small things, not brushing, that's why it's plaque, it's calculus, then you have gingivitis, then periodontitis. Well, let's say you have gingivitis and or, and or periodontitis and your teeth are also rotten on top of that, yeah, there is a worse combination ever because now you have the abscess as well. Or just to put it bluntly, you have pus in your teeth or in your mouth. To call it fancy, you have an abscess. Yeah, you have an abscess in your mouth, eh? <laughs> yes, so if you have an abscess, oh no, when you have an abscess, that means you have the bacteria in the gums and in your bones. Well, that is the worst part of it because when you have that, it's either you have you remove your tooth or you do the root canal treatment on the tooth. That is when the nerve is also infected as well. So you have, it's either you do a root canal treatment on the tooth, but it depends also on the individual what caused the the, the nerve to be infected. Is it either the periodontal periodontal disease or which is called periodontitis, or it was the cav it was the cavity the the rotten tooth. Well, so it's either we remove the tooth or we do the, the root canal treatment where we remove the nerve. However, if that is not treated, now you have that abscess, you have pus in your mouth. Then it can also spread to the entire body. You have your heart here, you have your blood, your major blood vessels here. And you have your infection on the, let's say on the molars, on the back teeth. That infection, that pus, it's when it spreads, it can spread quickly to the from the blood from the mouth from the bone to the blood vessels straight to the heart. That's how it affects your heart, or you get a stroke. Does it make sense? Okay, on the on the top as well. How it affects your brain? Let's say you have an infection or pus or bacteria. Then if it's not treated, like you said, you have an abscess, which is called we okay, it's an abscess, but it's pus anyways. And if it's not treated other by, by antibiotics, then it, it spread to the whole body, 
we call that process uh, that infection cellulitis it's spread from the bone i mean from the teeth in the mouth and the upper teeth straight to the brain and then you suffer brain damage that's how bad it can be so it is really important guys to see, take care of your teeth visit your dentist not only that because there is pain but just as a regular checkup as much as you go annually to check your heart blood pressure your diabetes uh, your diabetes all the vitality checks that you do it's also important that you go for a dentist to a dentist as well to do the whole checkup as well of your mouth they take x-rays we do the whole intraoral um scanning and and examination and also do the cleaning of your mouth as well for ladies as well if you're pregnant it can also affect your unborn baby you might find yourself giving birth prematurely yes it happens because the bacteria it can spread to the blood stream when it goes to the bloodstream it can also go straight to the baby doesn't make sense but it happens so that's it guys so it's you don't take care of your teeth you have your bad breath then you have your caries you have your gingivitis periodontitis straight to to having an abscess or pass in your mouth spreading to cellulitis which is the bacteria throughout the whole body and it, then you end up suffering a, a, um, stroke or brain damage or even losing your baby if you're pregnant and also there's an interrelation between diabetes and the bleeding gums as well we know that people who are diabetic they they bleed easily or if they bleed then it takes forever for them to heal so if you have diabetes and you have uh, gum problems or periodontitis can even progress even further because it's not treated and it also related to also the diabetes or the periodontitis can also affect your diabetes and makes it and makes it even worse yeah so as much as people think that teeth are just teeth but there's so much that is that is involved with the teeth um, they are joined or they are attached to the whole body because the teeth are attached to the blood streams and the nerves and also your bone they are attached to your whole body so you cannot exclude the mouth from the entire body as much as you take care of your whole body as much as we go for our facials and and our massages and our hair we also need to take care of our teeth in that manner as well visit the dentist every six months at least it's six months than the hair every three weeks you see and for guys i know that they always take our their cars the car wash almost every week if not every month i don't know how many times do you guys take your cars to, to to the car wash but then how often do you take yourself to check your teeth to the dentist so yeah thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for tuning in please subscribe like comment click on the notification button please share the videos with your friends your colleagues your loved ones to also inform them about the side effects of not taking care of your teeth see you on your next see you on my next video